gun violence has to stop. When does it stop? It has to start somewhere. A plea from the loved ones of the teenagers shot and killed at a hayride. Good evening and thanks for joining us here on CBS and Pittsburgh. I'm Lindsay Ward. As the search continues today for the person who killed 15 year old Stephen Eason, his family and friends laid him to rest at his funeral service. Our Brian Reed heard from loved ones about their push for justice. With family and friends showing up at the funeral to honor Stephen Eason, the impact he made on his community resonates. Just the impact that he's had on all these people. Just look, look, look at the impact that he has had on so many lives. Let's make a difference, people. As groups gathered for his viewing, highlighted by a motorcade memorial, thoughts of life that Stephen will never get to experience came to mind. It's so heartbreaking to know that he won't enjoy a girlfriend, a, you know, marriage, going to college. It's just so heartbreaking that this is, that we got to go through this. His family is proud of his bravery. They say he tried to create peace before he was shot at the Haunted Hills Hayride in North Versailles. Innocent bystander trying to help somebody out. Gave his life for somebody else. Just trying to make peace and making a call to everybody to end the violence in the name of Stephen. It's time for us to wake up. Wake up, people. God does not want this. There has to be a change. Has to be a change quick. And as family and friends buried Stephen today, police are still looking for his killer. They ask that if you know anything, then to give police a call. I'm Brian Reed, KDK News.